Wow, Rudolph is shaking. Ugh. Ugh. Honestly, waiting for these hairs to grow back. It's a very big problem. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. I'm exposing all my secrets to take me from this <laughs> to this. Like Quite an improvement if I do say so myself. I would just like to say a big thank you to Beauty Bay for sponsoring this video. Everyone loves Beauty Bay. Who doesn't? They stock all my favourite makeup. Jeffree Star, Anastasia Beverly Hills. The Beauty Bay palette are incredible. I've used them in so many videos before. I shouldn't have to justify myself, but I know a lot of people get really touchy with sponsorships, but I just want to let you know that I do genuinely really love these products and I can't really lie to you about them because because they're gonna be going on my face. I don't know if they were sure it would shine. I'm also gonna be answering some assumptions. Some, some, assumptions. some assumptions just because I have no personality. We need to make this video interesting some way or another. First thing, oh, okay. Ooh, the first thing I always do is go in with a foundation. I've been loving this Jouer foundation. It's such a good match for me right now. My fake tan is kind of um dying, but this is kind of in between my fake tan shade and my normal skin color, so I can get away with it with both. It's the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade. Cameo. And I use my beauty blender and just blend it all over my face. Ding. Someone assumed that you went through a bisexual phase and literally the one next to it says you're bi. No, I've never questioned my sexuality. I've always known that I was straight. Obviously, it goes without saying. I don't have anything against bisexual people or gay people or pansexual or any of that. But I myself am straight as a ruler. Look at the coverage of this foundation and the finish. It's just beautiful. Somebody assumed um, that you're rich. Even now that I'm doing YouTube, you can't look at another YouTuber and just know how much money they make. It's not even like if you have a million subscribers, you get 10 grand for a brand deal. If your engagement is really bad, you won't. A lot of it's about following as well as engagement. Um, engagement as well as following, I meant to say. <laughs> I don't get my words out. I'm never gonna sit here and be like, I had this much last month, here are my bank statements, here's the tea, here's the receipts, this is how much tax I'm paying every year. No. To my friends, my close friends, and like my family, they'll know. But you wouldn't just go up to someone and be like, how, how much money do you earn? If they're in an office job. No. I earn enough money, but at the same time, I'm not any hundreds of thousands of pounds, but I am lucky to earn enough to be comfortable and independent, which we love that for me. Oh, this foundation, I am so I'm obsessed with you. Also too, obviously, everything will be linked in the description box. Do I need to even say that? No, I probably don't. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. As you can see, I have been using it quite a lot. <laughs> this is in the shade C 6.5. I used to use, use, <laughs> I used to use shade 3 and I actually prefer this one a lot more. I find it's actually lighter, believe it or not. Uh, this concealer is honestly my favourite concealer ever. I also take it up onto my eyelids because it's blessed with the world's veiniest eyelids ever. And it does make me look crazy and like I have no eyelashes but not a problem okay. it's so interesting i've been in london for the last week and i've just got home i got home yesterday afternoon and already just being there and being around like my youtube friends having a change of scenery because as you all know i moan about it 24 7 i live in the countryside i live in the middle of nowhere i can't drive yet but i'm working on it i had a driving lesson this morning so once i can drive it will drastically help anytime i'm not in london i'm like when can i go back when can i go back oh my god when can i go back because i just i'm there I just have a vision, I have a goal, I have ideas, I have inspiration. Um, also too, this was induced by the Michael Jackson documentary. I was so stressed out watching it, I bit my lip off. Let's just say I had some pretty traumatic dreams afterwards. Something I've been doing recently is using a darker shade of concealer to do my contour. Obviously, you guys know I love this one, so I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using this in the buff brush, which comes from a Beauty Bay brush. 
brush kit. It's gorgeous. It's got all these brushes in it. Love that. They're all really nice quality and so, so, so affordable. If you're starting out with makeup or even if you're not, they're just such a good thing to have in your kit, especially if you're a freelancer, actually. I only do a little bit of cream because I also use a powder. Somebody said you're secretly a stripper. I don't think anyone will pay to see this body. Another person said, you love drinking. Um, like you're always drinking, you love a drink. That's really not true. Anyone who knows me actually knows, like I really just don't like drinking. The only time you'll ever catch me drinking is if I'm going out, out. I'll never just like have a drink because it just makes me really tired. I'd rather just have some lemonade because I don't like wine. Do I look like I'd like wine? Do I look cultured enough to like wine? No, I look like I like Malibu. And that's just embarrassing. I was thinking the other day, imagine you meet a boy in the club and you go up to the bar to get a drink with them and they get a shot of apple sours. How embarrassing. Now I'm just combing up my eyebrows with a spoolie brush to get the foundation out of them. Honestly, getting foundation on my eyebrows is such a pet pain. I apologise for the amount I roll my eyes. It always really bugs me because it makes me look rude. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using this bad boy. And you might be thinking, what the fruit is an eyeshadow palette? But if you know me, I love eyeshadow for my eyebrows because I'm lazy. My brows today, I'm going to be using a mix of macchiato and chocolate souffle from the Beauty Bay EYN Fiery Palette. You get all these amazing colours and they're so, so so affordable and these shades look incredible on the brows someone assumed that i miss college and i regret leaving now i would not say i miss college definitely do not regret leaving i left college because my youtube was really taking off it does get quite lonely being by myself all day and that was something like that really kind of hit me last night just how used to being alone i am uh which i guess is kind of a good thing because it means i am really good with my own company and i'm like only sort of dependent on myself i'm not one of those people who has to be around people all the time i really enjoy it and when i'm around people a lot it makes me realize how happy it makes me so i don't miss college in itself however of course i miss my friends so much it was something really important for me and my future to leave and i would never ever 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 regret the decision someone said you try to keep your relationship separate from your friends I would say no this is not true but yes that does happen obviously the relationships i've been in have been kind of like long distance as well as an age gap i don't intentionally try and keep my relationships and my friendships separate i love it when it comes together but it's just quite hard because of the distance oh, are you freaking kidding me right now i got eyeshadow on my face oh god i'm going to go in with this beautiful array of sunshine from the god this is the beauty bay jelly highlighter in starlight sparkle i cannot even begin to explain uh, it kind of looks like a little golden poo i like to use this on my fingers i don't know if you can see but the consistency it's like bouncy I kind of want to eat it, not going to lie. Let me just show you. You need the teeny tiniest little bit on your finger. I always dab it onto the back of my hand just to sheer it out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Pat McGrath is <laughs> the most beautiful glow. And the way it just meshes with your skin. <laughs> I'm also going to take a little bit of it onto my nose. Cupid's bow. Little teeny tiny bit on my chin. And now that I've done all my base makeup, I'm going to set it with this Skindinavia Oil Control Finishing Spray. The mist... Don't talk whilst you're spraying it. The mist is so fine. It's honestly beautiful. May as well pour the whole bottle on dull. Oh, look how dirty I've got that. No one should let me know nice makeup. Honestly, for eyeshadow, I am so lazy. Most of the time, I will use one colour, literally like two colours, if you catch me on a good day. But what I love doing is just taking one warm shade all over the lid and smoking it out. Today, I'm going to be using this shade Hot Sauce, once again, from the Beauty Bay EYN palette. Taking it on this fluffy round the blend brush. You can also get the EYN palette in a smaller version. I got sent this from Beauty Bay ages ago and I've used it so much. I take it all over my lid pretty messily and just blend it up into the crease. So I'll take my finger 
powder and pack it onto the lid. So my camera just cut out, which is so rude, but I put it on charge for literally a minute. I'm gonna dry and finish off this eye. As you can see, I've just blended the orange out and winged it out. And then I'm bringing that same orange shade onto my lower lash line using Hey Shorty brush. Then just to show you if I'm feeling bougie and wanna go in with another little shade, I'll go in with the... I will go in with this shade New Penny and I always take shimmers on my fingers I just feel like they work best that way and I pat it onto like me. As I was saying before my camera very rudely cut me off. Don't be fucking what hurting throw the thing on me. I'll fucking hurt you. Don't do that. I love adding a shimmery shade just to the middle. I'm patting it in with my finger and when you put it on with your finger, you'll always get the best pigment payoff. You heard it here first, ladies. So I'm gonna set my brows with this Anastasia tinted brow gel. I bloody love this. Somebody assume that I'm a fashion icon. I'd beg to differ. This brow product is honestly so incredible. If you're lazy, you need it because it just does such a good job even just using it on its own. Okay, so I've just had to change my camera because my other one decided to run out of charge and turns out I've left my charger all the way in London. Now I'm going in with this, which I am so obsessed with at the moment. It's an Anastasia bronzer. It's in the shade Rich Amber. And I take it on this fan brush, which is called the Fancy That brush. I dip it in like that. It's very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Make sure you tap it up dull. And I just put it on my cheeks like so. It just bronzes so nicely. And this brush basically does all the work for you. Bronze up this ginormous... 25 head of mine. So the finishing touch, oh my god I'm so excited about this, the Jeffree Star lipstick in birthday suit. The first time I ever met Jasmine and Sophie at Sitsi, I remember I used to be obsessed with her lipstick and it was this lipstick so since I've got it and I absolutely love it. Thank you all so much for watching, I really 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 hope you all enjoyed it. If you did please don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up. I will have all the links to all the products I've used in the description box down below. Once again thank you so 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 much to Beauty Bay for working with me on this video. It really is a dream come true. I couldn't quite believe it when they reached out to me. Still can't quite believe it. As I say every single time, I have all my social medias as I say every single time I have all my social medias listed in the description box down below and I'm also going to be going to Big B today out so make sure if you want to come and meet me you get tickets to come and see me okay even this camera's flashing too. Okay I love you all so much thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon Bye!